So how do you write PHP code in a simple text editor? This is an important concept to understand for new programmers because many times new programmers are overwhelmed when they see professional type IDE interfaces and when they go to write code they simply don't know how to use that complicated software. So it's important to understand that you can use a simple text editor to write scripting language code whether it's PHP, whether it's JavaScript, whether it's Ruby. Now the more complicated IDEs do give you a lot of functionality and make your life a hell of a lot easier when you're writing code that's hundreds or thousands of lines. But when you're simply trying to start out and learn how to do basic functions, learning how to do basic loops, that type of thing, using whatever text editor is already on your computer is a great way to go. So you can use a basic ASCII text editor in order to write your code and your code will function just the same as if you use something like NetBeans. The only difference is the actual interface that you're going to use. You don't get some of the, the, the fancy functionality you get out of something like NetBeans, but on the other hand, you don't have to learn it. So let's go over to my Mac so I can kind of show you how a text editor works and if you're going to be writing PHP code. So this is just my standard Mac computer. This is a 2013 Mac with uh, the operating systems actually last generations. I have to upgrade it. But all we're going to be doing in order to write a little bit, little snippet of PHP code today is we're going to be using text edit. So I put text edit down here in my little taskbar so it's easy for me to use in general. But all I would have to do is I go to Finder. I go to applications and then I can scroll to find text edit and you can see that text edit is right here. So now I can double click on text edit, click on new document, and now I can write some PHP code. But before I write the PHP code, I want to set up this text editor's environment uh, so that it doesn't do weird things to me. It's important to understand now when you're going to be using Notepad or text edit that many times when you use a text editor, there's things like autocorrect or spelling, which can cause you problems if you're going to be writing code. So in order to set up this environment so it's good for creating PHP code, what I'll do is I'll go up to text edit, then I'll go to preferences. So basically what you want do is whatever text editor you're going to be using go to preferences and more or less what you're going to do is you're going to deselect everything so from here I'm going to click on plain text so use format menu to choose settings for an open document so we're going to go to plain text we don't want any additional formatting because all we want is that text window size doesn't really matter here you can look at the font size so uh, plain text font size, you can change it here. So for me, since I'm going to be displaying things to you, I want the text to be larger, so I'm going to take it all the way up to 48. That's just so you can see it. It literally does not matter what size your font is when you're writing a code. All this is, is is for how easy it is for you to see. Then we're going to go down here, and then you're going to see other options. Check spelling as you type, no. Correct spelling automatically, no. Show the ruler, we don't need that. Smart quotes, no. Smart copy, no, 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 no. So what you're going to do is you're going to deselect all of this type of stuff because all you want is that basic text editing. Uh, then you can go to open and save. One of the things you'll see with the text edit is it has when saving a file, add.txt extensions to plain text files. One of the things that we're going to do is we are going to deselect this because when we save a PHP file, we need it to be saved as .php. So one of the issues that you get into with new coders, what they do is uh, some of the, the text editing software will add .txt. So what people will do is they'll do index.php, they'll save as index.php. And then they won't, they won't understand why their code isn't working properly. And the reason is, is because the text editor then adds .txt to the end. So then it says, then basically what the file name is, is index.php.txt. And as soon as you do, add, the, add that .txt at the end, then the, the PHP interpreter doesn't know what to do with it. So then all we're going to do from here is we're going to close. So if this is Windows, you would hit apply and save. And then from here, we'll do new. And now we get our pretty clean, nice little environment. So this, you see there's no there's no rulers, there's no nothing else. And from here, we can write PHP code. So if I want to do, let's say, uh, bracket, I want to see um, question mark uh, PHP. So this opens up uh, the, the PHP tag. And then I do print, I do uh, hello world. Then I close, colon, 
and then I close a PHP. So this is a basic PHP script. I'm not going to really explain it to you very much here. Basically what this does is this starts the PHP script. We then say print and then we say hello world. And at the end of every line, uh, every command, we do a semicolon, and then we close PHP. So this is a full-fledged PHP script here, e even if it's incredibly simple. Then from here, all we do is we go to File, and then we are going to go down to Save. And so we click on Save, and now what's very important is you see that .txt there? We don't want .txt. We want to make sure it's always .php. So for this, we'll do test, let's say .php. So this means the file's name is test, and it's a, it's a PHP file, and then we're, then we're going to say where we want to save it to. So especially, this is one thing you have to think about, is you're, it, you, if you're going to be uploading this up to a shared hosting server, then you want to put the file in some place you know where it is. Basically, in general, you want to know where you're going to be saving it to. So for me, I'll just shove this on the desktop right now. It makes my life easier. Uh, you leave it as Unicode, if no extension. You know, just, just deselect that .txt thing, and then we're going to click Save. So from there, all we do is we can minimize this, and we can see right here that uh, Mac OS recognizes this as a PHP script, and this is your test file. And so from here, I can now upload this up to a shared hosting or to my server, and that PHP script will run. So that's all you need to do uh, in order to be able to run um, or be able to write PHP scripts using a text editor. So you can do this with Notepad, you can do this with uh, text edit, you can do this with Notepad++, any of the ASCII text editors, you can write PHP code and it will work fine, uh, just the same as if you're using fancy you know, IDEs or such. So that answers whether or not you can write a PHP code with a text editor. Um, for the rest of this track, in general, I'll be using a basic text editor just to make things simple for you to be able to see how all this operates and so that you really understand that you don't need a complicated IDE in order to write PHP. And so that's all there is to it. Um, and that's, that's why it matters.